Hello and welcome and thank you very much for joining me in the studio today. I'm sorry but I have damaged my hand. I've, I've had a bit of an accident so I'm not painting today but what I'm going to do is give you a compilation of my favourite tips throughout the years. So this is my life hacks for the studio. So firstly, I want to start thinking about saving money. Now, you can get these wax palettes, as you know, in any arts and crafts store, and they're not cheap. These are not cheap. So you, you can use it as a, just a, a temporary palette. As you can see, I'm using uh, this one to um, just mix some paint on and carry on painting. And these come off. You will rip these off, chuck them in the bin, etc. Now, there's a quick and easy way of saving money. and All you need is a bit of plywood, a bit of hardboard, an old palette, and some bulldog clips and some grease proof paper and you can make your own this is an old wooden palette that i've got um, all i've done is put a couple of um, bulldog clips around the edge and what you need to do is get some grease proof paper or parchment paper cut that to size put them on your piece of board attach them with the bulldog clips there we are and you can use that as a temporary wet palette now, you'll have to mist the paint to stop it from drying, but I can tell you what, this is a fantastic way to save yourself loads and loads of money, and it's a very quick and easy tip for the studio. I use this all the time. To be honest, I find this a, a lot easier when I'm painting on the fly. <laughs> so as I said, yeah, I've, I've damaged my hand today, so unfortunately, <laughs> I can't paint. And so tip number two, um, make your own metallic paint. Now I got some pearlescent tinting and some silver paint. So either silver or pearlescent. And you can use any acrylic paint for this. Do not have to go and buy any metallic paints. So using a, a silver with any color you want. I'm using a bit of ultramarine blue in this case and you mix that together and you're going to get this lovely pearlescent finish so you can buy the pearlescent tint in as i said or you can just use plain old silver and that's going to make a fantastic metal effect for your paints try it out see how you get on with it and as i said it's a cheap way of actually using any stock paints that you've got and turning them into a metallic looking type of finish. So you don't need to buy all these expensive paints. Don't be fooled by the art shops wanting your money. Just use the hard hacks that I'm trying to show you today. And these are some of my favorite tips, by the way. Um, as I said, um, over the years I've been painting now since I was, I, but I can't remember how long I've been painting, but. Um, actually in the studio and on YouTube now I think it's about five or six years and um, yeah I'm trying to share all my little tips with you along the way so again uh, this is the silver paint so that was the pearlescent now I'm mixing a bit of silver and there's not going to be a lot of difference between these two um, so if you can't get any um, pearlescent then use just plain old silver acrylic now you can put other things into this paint you can put some glitter and stuff like that if you wanted to or sprinkle some glitter on top of it before it dries just to get that sparkly effect you know you can you can play with with acrylics you can use them as watercolors you can use them thick and impasto you can thicken them up like oil paints acrylics are fantastic things so if you want a quick tip so making a metallic paint that's the one for you okay let's tip number three so sometimes the paint gets stuck in the lid if you don't wipe them very well i got a, one of these little cake cases that's a silicon cake case and if it's hard just wrap that around the top of the edge give it a bit of a squeeze that's giving you a little bit of tension on that cap and that's going to open that one for you very quick and easy tip there a canvas there which we've already varnished and you can see the gloss on it actually shiny on the camera it's so glossy it is but it's not glossy it's satin now what's going to happen is all these little particles of dust I'm going to fall down on there and it's going to stick into that wet varnish and it's going to be an absolute nightmare. So what we need to do is put that up against the wall somewhere. Now what I suggest you do is very, very gently grab it like that. 
you need to place it against the wall on an angle like that there you go an angle like that so i'm gonna i got a board here which i've already done um not a board it's a canvas actually and that's just leaning up against there like that so all the dust now is going to fall on the back of the canvas and not on the front that's already varnished i'm just going to put my stool there in front of it to stop it sliding and sticking to the floor and there you go that's one way of protecting the varnish film from dust allow that to dry for 24 hours before you read yeah so don't forget it can take up to two weeks to cure okay so you've got a bit of, you've got a painting um why not just paint over it um if you want to reuse it um i use some gesso just plain old gesso that i've made myself there's plenty of tips there in the icards i store my gesso by the way in some ketchup bottles there we are make it ease of use is another quick tip there for you and quite basically and very easily um, this is how I you reuse some of my paintings um, because I've got loads and loads and loads of paintings. You can imagine the all amount of lessons I do. I'm putting a little bit of burnt umber with this just to make a coloured ground. Maybe a little bit too much burnt umber in this case. <laughs> Mix that, slap it on, let it dry, and there you go. You can how many how many paintings in museums do you reckon that have been overpainted like this? Loads, absolutely loads. It's one of the one of the quick tricks, and uh, not so much tricks, but money saving ideas that you can reuse any canvas, you can use any board, or reuse it, have a bit of fun. Hope you've enjoyed these tips, and I will see you next week for some fantastic paintings. Hopefully, my my hand will be better by then. Thank you. See you soon. Bye.